Hello everyone and welcome back to the Urquhart Masters Star Control 2 Hardcore Challenge. Um, today um, we uh, are going to start exactly where we left off. Um, so we're going to go over to Alpha Virginus now. That's the next planet we want to probably go and mine. Um, because it's got a good amount of biodata in it and it's not too far away. It's on the way to um, Quasi Space. Now also, um, in case you're wondering why the Ilrath's favourite influence is missing, that's because of course we haven't attacked that Ilrath at the starbase. So it's interesting to see what the uh, the uh, star map looks like without the Ilrath and the Spathy instead. But whatever, it's fine. Um, so of course I am going to use this little trick where we can stop the Slalandro from reaching us. Or at least I'm going to do that until I get bored because it's we're sort of going sideways so it's a lot harder. Um, and I'm, uh, this is a sort of test to see if it's really worth, you know, sort of doing this. Instead of, it might just be easy to just attack the slow Android, to be honest. But I'm going to see how far I can go before I get bored, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, well, to be honest, you know, is it really worth it? No, I'm just going to see if I can destroy the Slylandro. Um, and, you know, the one thing that I do notice is that when I'm trying to run away from one of them, uh, another one doesn't spawn, or at least they're not at the moment. I think or maybe later when they're actually starting to multiply a lot more, that will happen. But let's try and pull that trick off. Um, it's, a, it's, it's actually not really that hard to do. I just didn't know when I was first playing in the original series, but... I just discovered that if you can, if you just sort of hold off a little bit, then they uh, they actually try to come towards you when you turn just as you go over the edge of the screen. Um, so just one more hit, and there we go. That down two four one eight dash B. Um, now the thing is actually is that we are actually going to get quite a lot of RUs. I mean we're already up to what two thousand seven hundred RUs just from destroying these Slylandro, and I'm sure we're going to get tons more um, in the future. But we're slowly making our way, super slowly, <laughs> towards Alpha Virginus. And here comes another probe to attack us. Oh god, why is there so many probes? Oh, I just paused the game. Thanks. Okay, so another probe. Maybe we want to con converse with this guy. We are not hostile and seek to establish grand relations with your species. Oh really? That's what you always say, isn't it? We we are having a lot of trouble with you guys. Report nominal function priority override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials. And here comes another Slalandro um, with their stupid electrical weaponry. Um, now I don't think the Slalandro actually affected by gravity. I just sort of go past the planet there, and it didn't seem to actually be affected. It's got an interesting movement compared to other ships, because I mean, I've never really... I can't remember if I played with one in the super melee battle against webs, but basically... Um, oh, there we go, they're, they're down. Uh, they sort of spin around, and they sort of automatically go forwards. Um, I mean, if you press forwards, they turn around, and if you... and you obviously can turn normally. They turn very quickly, and they're very fast, and their controls are very unique, really. Um, and to recharge, they have to be next to an asteroid to press 2, and that's recharge, and then the actual weapon is... Um, the the lightning bolts. Um, but of course, that's not actually their actual weapons, um, as the Slalandro explains on their home planet of Source. Ah, oh, look, there looks like there's a couple more uh, Slalandros actually appearing on the screen at once now. Um, don't know if that was just me making something up. We but... wish to learn more about you. Please transmit data. No, we're not going to transmit any data to you. This is Pro 2418-B. We are on a peaceful mission of exploration. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials. God, we're going to be destroying so many probes by the end of this uh, little subsection towards Corvi. Um, I wonder how many we're going to destroy, actually. Of course, even after that, there's going to be a couple that we can destroy with our um, self-destruct code which will uh, will make things a lot easier. We won't have to keep going into all these battles. For now, Fifo's doing a fine job. Look at him there. He's got a friend on board. I'm pretty sure there's only one uh, one Spathy. Um, uh, we, we've only got Fifo, but whatever. There's two, apparently. That's fine. I mean, maybe he maybe he forgot about another person who was hiding. Hiding away in the cabinet or something. But there we go. There's another, there's another probe down. We're getting pretty... 
pretty okay at this now. We haven't lost any crew for a little while. Um, we haven't just hit any planets. That's pretty much where we've lost all our crew. It's just hitting planets. But whatever. We're just going to have to stop doing that. Um, because that, we've lost a good amount of crew just from planets. And there's goes another probe. Yeah, we've lost about like maybe 10 crew from just planet planet smashes. But we're just going to have to deal with that. This probe is not hostile. Do not attack. I'm afraid I can't keep to that promise. This is probe 2418 B. We seek to make friend we contact with alien life forms. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must grade target into component materials. They just never learn, do they? We are perfectly peaceful as well, but they just insist on a fight every time. Well, technically, I mean, are they actually fighting? I mean, they're more sort of just trying to get some materials. I mean, we're attacking. I mean, they're attacking us, but are they really fighting us? I mean, is it a battle as such? Not for, not for that thing. It's more of a sort of uh, resource collection. But whatever. There goes another probe. And uh, we continue our slow journey towards that planet. Not the planet, the, uh, what's it called? Alpha Virginis, and oh my god, are we gonna get there before? Is that an Al- uh, oh, I think that's a, uh, oh god, I think that was a Ilrath there, that would've been bad. Don't want to find an Ilrath, because we will have a bit of trouble with them. Because of course they turn invisible, and that's really difficult for the Spathy missiles to follow, and Earth's pretty, Earth ship's pretty bad against them as well. Both of our ships are, have homing weaponry as their best weapons, so, bit of a problem, really. Um, so what I want to do is I want to go to Alpha Virginis, I think it was 5, was it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, it's over here, okay. Yeah, Alpha Virginis 5A, it's a pretty good planet, has a lot of good stuff going for it, so hopefully um, we, can, uh, we can find a lot of biodata. Um, the best biodata is those um, really quick um, two-shot uh, things that give you 15 biodata each. So you can kill like three of them, get 90 credits, go down again. So you can get quite a lot of credits just from those things. It's 90 fuel units every time you go down. Um, so here we go. There's a lot of uh, biodata on this planet. Certainly. Looks good. Save the game. And we will see what we can find on this ultramarine world. It has got like a bit of lightning going on. Oh, it looks like we've got some weird stuff. One hit. Three biodata. That's not too bad actually. How much do these give you? Eight, I think. Yeah, there we go. Eight. And a couple more threes. Okay, so this isn't too bad. We've just got to make sure that we don't get hit by the lightning. That's all. So hopefully we don't take too much damage from this planet because it'd be annoying to have to keep reloading because we get a few annoying hits on us. It looks like we're pretty much full on biodata after this hit. I'll just go and kill that last one up there. And then I'll try and escape and get those last bits. Looks like we're going to get a good 70 or so biodata from this planet, I'm going to guess. Oh, damn it, I got hit four more. Oh, I can deal with that just, maybe. I'm really pushing it, probably, for crew at this point, but it's a hardcore challenge. It might as well be a challenge. So... Now, an interesting thing that um, someone told me in the comments of the last episode was that um, the Shemur don't send you actually to the Starbase if you haven't been to the Starbase before. So that must have been the fix that they, they made. I thought it just meant that they made it so it didn't crash anymore. So it looks like we can actually make a totally legitimate non-Starbase Let's Play. Um, because now the game recognizes sort of that you're trying to do the challenge. Um, because apparently, yeah, apparently they, they just send you to Earth, um, they give you the bomb, they, uh, uh, rocket up your, um, your speed thrusters and your, uh, turning jets, um, so it means that you, you can le legitimately do a non, um, you can leg legitimately do a non Starbase Let's Play. All that that means, though, is that getting new ships is going to be very crucial. Um, and the Pekunk ships are going to be pretty important, so we're going to have to basically um, destroy whatever it is, six Urquan with just the Spathy ship. So it might be quite difficult. So 
So the important thing is in that regard um, is to make sure that we don't lose any ships, make sure that we are as efficient as possible. As soon as we get the Pekunk, that's a big step forwards because then we have four Pekunk Furies. You get four Pekunk Furies from them, um, which is really good. Uh, so we can get those four. And those can be used to destroy the Sumatra because, of course, the Pekunk are really, really good against the Sumatra. The tricky bit is those six Urquan just before the Sumatra, really. Um, so Fifo is going to have a pretty tough job when it comes to that. But luckily, also once we get the Pekunk Furies, we can basically try and re uh, sort of regenerate crew because we can put just one crew member. Oh, here we go. Here's another stupid thing. We can put one crew member in the Fury, and then sort of uh, they'll die. And then they'll regenerate eight more, and then we escape, so we can basically get a load more crew back. So we sort of regenerate, revive crew. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must grave target into component materials. So here comes another probe for Fuifo to. Uh, humiliate. Oh, oh, that was a bit close. That was took a little bit of damage there. Looks like we took two damage. So we're down to 14. That's fine. We can deal with that. We destroy a lot of probes. I mean, this is sort of one of the more difficult parts of the game is just sort of surviving these probe attacks. Um, I sort of decided, I think I, I worked out really that going sideways through hyperspace, or at least diagonally, is pretty inefficient for doing that little um, little thing where you dodge the Slylandro. But going sort of forwards is a lot is a lot quicker. Um, but at the same time, still, I mean, since I'm doing so well at destroying these probes, I'm only going to sort of dodge them once in a while. I mean, I, I'm, I guarantee that by the time we finish this Let's Play, we would have killed, like, maybe 30 probes. Um, maybe 20, and then, like, another 10 from the self-destruct sequence or something. But, yeah, I don't know how, I don't know how often they spawn after the self-destruct sequence if you're not, if you're doing the non-starbase Let's Play. Obviously, there's loads of them anyway if you're doing the non-starbase Let's Play. Um, but here we go, here's another one. Um, I'm going to see how well I can actually do with this one since it's coming in behind me. I'm going directly forwards, um, so I might be able to uh, to pull this off. Yeah, it looks like we get a good amount of distance each time. So I'm going to speed another thing up, play another hyperspace theme, and uh, see you guys in a bit. That was a pretty funky one there. Um, sounded pretty cool. I've actually got about seven hyperspace themes saved on my computer, and I can use them whenever I want. I've used, I think, about five or six of them overall through Oakman Masters videos. I think I used um, one of them in a Project 6014 video when I was traveling through hyperspace really quickly to get to that little arrowloop bubble that was really far west of the map. But whatever, it's fine. Um, one more to do. Problem is I can't remember which one I haven't used or which which ones I haven't used, but pretty sure I've used maybe five or six different ones, four or five even. Here we go, Delta Cygnus. This is actually a pretty good planet um, uh, for for getting bio data. Delta Cygnus one. Uh, I'm gonna save the game though because it's got weather again. All these bio data planets have got weather, and that weather is just weather in this game is one of the things that oh, we, luckily we've got these nice. Um, Awesome uh, guys that give loads of biodata, but weather, the problem with weather is that you just can't dodge it. And I'm not quick enough. I mean, the, the one problem at this stage in the game with these really quick moving things is that I can't keep up with them, so it's a lot more difficult for me to kill them. Once I get the upgrade from the Mel Normal, which gives me um, double speed, um, then I'll be I'll be fine. And this would be probably quite easy, and I would have already got quite a lot of them. But the problem is that it's a combination of the weather and the sort of 16 angle turning. Um, so like if they're traveling away from me from an angle that I can't really deal with then it means sort of hitting them becomes quite difficult um, But there we go, we've got 45 IUs. I didn't seem to lose much crew there. I don't know if I lost any. I wasn't really concentrating um, But just maybe two or three more landings looks like two more landings and we'll be done which is awesome uh, Oh god, that was a big hit from the uh, from the weather there. That was annoying yeah, I'm probably just gonna <laughs> probably just gonna reload that. That was quite bad. Um, oh no, not the star map. Not the star map. Game. No, not save. <laughs> load. Load the game. Jeez, that was poor. Um, okay, let's load up the game and let's try that again because I didn't like that three crew lost straight away. 
But yeah, the tectonics I can pretty much deal with. I mean, it's pretty easy to dodge the tectonics, uh, or at least tectonics like 3 and 4. The one problem with tectonics, though, is that like if you're standing still, trying to like take down one of the... Uh, take down a, an enemy, then it can like just... The, the, the earthquake can just happen right below you, and you can... Uh, you can lose all of your crew at once, you just have to reload. So that's sort of one of the problems. I mean, they've, they've... Weather's sort of more... It will do a bit of damage to you every single time. While earthquakes are more, it will do massive damage to you if you are terrible. Luckily I'm not that terrible, so... I, I normally don't get uh, hit by the earthquakes, but I have got hit by a few when uh, trying to attack um, biodata. Or at least uh, trying to attack life forms. So the, this is why, it, when it gets annoying, is that I have to sort of wrap around the entire planet to sort of reach this guy because he was just a bit ahead of me. And then the weather starts to hit me, so I might be able to cross him off here. Actually, he might bounce down, and I can probably just cross him. Is he going to? Yes, there we go. I can get him. Okay, hopefully. Anyway, come on, come on. Yes, there we are. Okay, I've got them all. There we are, we got a lot of biodata there actually. That was good, that was real good. So the game is saved, and we can uh, continue our adventures towards the uh, quasi space portal. Um, see if I can try, and um, the reason that I'm going to a lot of these planets is because I know, it uh, sort of works out that if I do this, then I should be able to um, to be quite close to the time that the, uh, the quasi portal opens. Uh, so I need to sort of do this in order to, um, first of all, collect biodata to get more fuel, to get more technology, and also to um, sort of uh, be more efficient about my time so that I can get to the quasi portal when it opens and get through it as quick as I can. So hopefully we can do that. Come in peace.